So, what should you be aiming for when you plan your shots? I put that question to the Director of Chariots of Fire, Hugh Hudson. You shouldn't really notice the camera. You shouldn't notice anything except the drama and the characters or the human character, what you're trying to get across through the camera, through the uh, characters. Because mm. as soon as you start noticing something, the camera or the clothes or the sets, you know, you haven't, uh, your film usually will fail, I think, on a, on a, on a, um, on a human and dramatic theatrical level. It might be praised for its photography or its uh, uh, beautiful setting, but that's not really the object. But it is a great effort to make them effortless. You know, it's not easy. So the, uh, what you have to start to do is to break it down, obviously, if shot by shot, and so that it can flow in its uh, most uh, effective way dramatically. And you use every aid you've got. Uh, including the storyboard, of course. Some people won't use storyboard, but I like to use storyboard in certain kinds of sequences. Certainly in, in action sequences, I would like to use a storyboard. I think rehearsal is very important. I, I've started to use rehearsal more and more. I mean, extensive rehearsal period before the cameras are there, before the, you know, all the crowd of 100 people that you have around you. You also save a lot of time when you're shooting, because you learn what can and what can't be done. You learn about, about the characters, who they are, you learn also you get to know your actors or your amateurs, whatever, whatever they are. How important is the director's instinct? Your instinct was to tell a story in a particular way. You've got to retain your instinct and your first thoughts. That is the most difficult thing. How do that's you think the most important, I think that's the most important tip, actually, is, is uh, remember. If you can't remember them, write them down, your immediate instincts and uh, when you read the script or when you first worked on things. Just keep a good notebook. If you, your, your views are changed by somebody else and you go against it, you, you do something which is not as truthful as it possibly c should be, because it's not coming from you. And you just hold on to those instincts, because uh, that's why you began to do it in the first place, why you had the idea, why, why you're doing it in the first place. So why, why, why deny them? And uh, just keep, and be as passionate about it, you know, about your subjects, as passionate as you possibly can be. Um, because it's only the things you really want to do that are good. When you do them for the wrong reasons, for expedient reasons, even financial reasons, they usually aren't as good. They're usually more mechanical. And don't worry, another great thing, I think, is um, not only to be passionate, but you've got to be dispassionate. You might fall in love with a sequence or with a performance or with a part of the film. And often, strangely enough, I find more often than not, those are the those are the sequences which probably can be discarded. Although you, you desperately hold on to these, these moments in the film, and often, you know, they're the, the things you, you should get rid of. Um, and simplicity, another great issue to keep things as simple as possible. That's what I'm learning more and more as I go along, is that to keep them things that cut away all the complications tell the story as simply and directly as possible and the story will be better for it. So why do you direct films for a living rather than flogging shirts or plumbing? Because I like to tell stories. It's not glamorous at all. There's nothing to do with the glamour. That's not at all. It's a very hard work. It's a very tough um, job directing. I mean this last film which is going to be what like one hour 45 minutes on the screen it's taken two and a half years from the moment of starting on the script to the moment it'll come out and the cinemas, and that's a fantastic long time, two and a half years. And there's terrible pain in it. If you put any of anything of your own personality or your own experience and your own views and tastes in a thing, in, in, in a film, it's, um, it's very painful.